So look, we all struggle with being productive with our time. And I know the feeling of like, there's not enough hours in the day. Like I have so many things I wanna do and I wanna be productive in my business. I wanna be a present husband, a present dad. I wanna uh, work out and take care of myself. I wanna be able to do fun things in my life. But then I, I always always circle back to, uh, I need to be productive. Like I'm, I'm hardwired to be a productive human being. Like I wanted to build wealth for many, many, many years. And so back when I was, um, you know, in real estate or when I got into network marketing, uh, I found that um, there were people that were achieving mega success and I wanted to have the results that they had, but I also wanted to have a life. I wanted to have balance. I wanted to be able to have time for fun and to, for making money. And as I studied the super achievers, one of the things I found is they all have the same 24 hours in a day that you and I have. So what was the difference? Uh, they were a master at their calendar. They were really good at finding time within that 24 hour window that we all are confined by. They found time to do the income producing activity to create the, result, or the results that gave them the lifestyle that they were living. Um, and they were very good at time blocking. So they were really good at doing business, but they were really good at making sure they made time for other things. Now, not everybody is good at doing all of that. Some uh, spend way too much time having fun and they're not productive. Some people are super productive, but they're miserable and they're not having any fun. So um, as I look at my career and I look at uh, when I was building my empire in the network marketing space, um, not only being uh, one of the top recruiters in the entire industry worldwide for many years, but also teaching others how to get into a part-time business. Because network marketing is designed to be a business that's built on the side from a J-O-B and, uh, you know, two, three, four, five hours a week, you know, 10 minutes here, 30 minutes there, uh, to be able to build that side business to a point where one day you make so much money with it that it eclipses what it eclipses what you make full time at your job, so that at that point you can say bye bye to that job, and just basically work for yourself and have your own business, you know, you know, throwing off cash flow to you. But how do you get to that point? That's where most people struggle. Um, so let me just paint this picture. Uh, let me know. Let me know in the comments if this is you. Um, you have a lot of responsibility. You've got a job that requires 40, 50 hours a week or more. Uh, you've got, uh, you got demands on your time. Uh, you've got a boss that is not going to let you off the hook uh, just because you don't feel like working. Um, uh, maybe you feel like you're overworked and underpaid. I don't know. Uh, but in, in addition to your job, you also have, um, maybe you've got a spouse or a significant other. Um, and you want time with that person. Maybe you've got children and they absolutely need your time. Maybe you've got church uh, and uh, maybe you've got uh, a commitment to your health and fitness and you go to the gym th several times a week. So am I describing you yet? Are you in this world of where can I find enough time to do all that I want to do? Is that you? Let me know. So um, you need help. We all need help. That's why I created my, my training program, Time Masters. Um, and I'm not here to go get into all that, but I am here to say that we all need something that we can use to help us to be as efficient and as effective with our time. Um, I have had mentors in my life that always said, Brian, you can't just wing it. You can't just fly by the seat of your pants. You've got to be very um, intentional about how you uh, design your day and use your time wisely. And that is why this Empire Builders Planner um, is why I use it. Uh, matter of fact, I wish that I came up with this, but a friend of mine um, who is also in the network marketing space uh, created a planner for network marketers and entrepreneurs by a network marketer and entrepreneur 
Uh, he took feedback in from many, many, many network marketers and entrepreneurs to be able to find what they would want to have in a planner to make it effective. And it's not just about having like, you know, times and days and just putting appointments in. That's part of why you use a planner. That's what, it's, that's what, you, that's what you use these spaces for. Put in what you're going to do each hour of every day. But also, there's other components to this planner that are very important. And by the way, show me somebody who's got a lot of white space in their calendar. I'll show you somebody who's not being very effective with their time. They're probably, um, you know, doing things that are not productive. They're probably uh, doing things that are not congruent with what they really want in life. Uh, but they, an idle time is the devil's playground, right? So here are some things that I want to show you here today that you want to use in the planner. Number one, it's got a, an activity, an activity tracker. And some activities that you need to do as an entrepreneur or a network marketer is you need to be posting on your social media platforms. You also need to be doing your personal development, whether it's listening or reading. You also want to make sure that you're doing your uh, at least two minimum daily exposures to new prospects for your uh, business product or opportunity. Then you also want to make sure that you're doing your uh, two invites a day. Uh, to have people check out a presentation. Now, and, and by the way, I also miss here, uh, this is uh, make, making sure that you're doing your two follow-ups a day because not just enough to go out there and make two new exposures. You need to be doing uh, at least a minimum of the same number of follow-ups and they're going to stack up. So you're going you're gonna to have a lot of follow-ups that you need to do. Fortune isn't a follow-up. So many salespeople, so many entrepreneurs, they make an initial exposures, but then they don't do the follow-up and that's where you get paid. That's where you convert. So tracking all this is super important, super important, but also down here, the victory circle. And this is really, really missed by so many people. Um, we have spaces on every um, calendar page where you actually write down any kind of a victory that you had uh, while that planner is laid out on your desk. So if you had an appointment that went really well, Give yourself credit for it, write it down. If you close a sale, write it down. If you recruited somebody, write it down. Hit a milestone, uh, rank advance, hit, write it down. Did a presentation and you felt great about it, even if it didn't convert, write it down. Because you get so many no's, so much rejection, so many little failures throughout your day, throughout your week, throughout your month, that will really uh, have a major negative impact on your psyche, on your self-confidence, and it'll whittle away at your belief and your conviction in what you're doing. So that's why it is really, really important that you put in the victory circle and fill these, uh, these blanks with victories that you're having and write it down. In the act of writing it down, it sinks in. But then every single day, every day that you're looking at your calendar, go read that list or even some prior lists on previous weeks. Read those victory circle uh, journal entries. And it will rebuild your self-confidence, uh, your confidence and your conviction and your belief. And you'll be that much more effective and powerful in what you're bringing to the world. Uh, something else that I think is uh, important for me to, uh, to put in here is at the beginning of every month, at the beginning of every month, we actually have um, your, your goals of what you're looking to accomplish. And at the end of the month, check this out. You got your new goals, but for the prior month, you can recap. You know, did I, um, did I track my business? Uh, did I track my expenses? Did I set no goals for my next month? Have I discussed my goals with my uh, team leaders or my mentors? And then have your biggest achievements, what can I improve on, and my next month's goals. This is really important because, again, you need to lead you. You are the leader of you. And having all of that in one place here is vital to you being as effective and as productive as you want to be. You know you want to be productive, way more productive than you've been up to this point in your life. And again, you're not going to suddenly get 30 hours in a day. It doesn't matter how much you pray for it. It doesn't matter how much you beg for it. You're always going to have the same 24 hours. Can you sleep less at night? Get up, you know, Go to bed later and get up earlier? You can, but you might just get yourself more tired because the human body needs certain number of hours of rest, and that differs from person to person. I need seven or eight hours or I just don't function well. 
So I'm not going to like work more hours in the day, but I need to find how to be as productive during those waking hours as I possibly can. So I just want, again, to encourage you to go to empirebuildersplanner.com, empirebuildersplanner.com, and grab yourself a copy. Get yourself one of these planners. It is very inexpensive, and it is going to magnify the results that you can get in 2023. Go into this new year as a new you, a more productive and a more wise um, a user of your time. And I promise you, you're going to look back at the end of 2023 and say, my gosh, something that simple as to using a planner, the way that I actually just heard Brian talking about it had such a massive impact. So I hope this helps you. And I hope you have the best breakout year of your entire life. Take care.